we will be looking at analyzing the aging in a lamp battery model to come up plotting a graph of the relative cell capacity variation with the cell life and make studies on it, different cycling and different state of charge. So I think we can get started now. If there are any questions, kindly drop your questions in the comment section and kindly like the video. So let's get started. We start by going to our model wizard where we select our space dimension. Then we select our physics. We'll be using a lamp battery. So our battery interfaces, then lamp battery, which we will add. Then we move to our steady. Then we select the steady that we'll be dealing with. We'll be dealing with the time dependent. So we select time dependent and we are done. Which brings us to our interface over here. So we can quickly go ahead to load our parameters. So we click on parameters. And we load our parameters from file. So we'll call this also. Which brings us here. So we we'll begin with we'll be working with this parameter, this data, battery capacity loss parameters, which we will go ahead to open. This is all our variables in here. We'll go on to our land battery. Also see what we have here. We want to change the operation mode to this. We want to change the applied voltage. We also want to change the battery cell capacity. We want to change the SOC as well. And we are done in here. Go to the cell equilibrium potential. We want to clear. Then we load. Our variable. From our file in here, we choose the capacity loss parameters. So we load this data.
we'll change our reference temperature to T. We'll go to our voltage losses. So our temperature here should be T. We'll make our potential to change. To one C cups. So if you go ahead to include concentration for potential. Tau should be. So we can go ahead and add our capacity loss. In here should be user defined, then change our temperature to T. We change uh, this to tau underscore loss. And we have to include our aging factors, which will depend on voltage. Change the offsets to sets. Change transfer coefficients to alpha. Want to include the aging history too as well. Want to make the same thing. Caps G. We go back to our parameters to check. So all that we defined in there has been fully expressed and described over with the description. The variable is the description. We move to our study. I want to name this as the calendar life. We had a parametric seek. We want to add parameter name, which we'll call the applied voltage, which will vary. Another parameter which would be the SOC five. We move to the time dependent. We want to change the, the range for the times. Make here ten. Two. 
Should be this way. Go to the calendar live. You want to uncheck the default plot and you want to complete this. So there was an error. Okay, so there was an error that was detected. So we quickly identify the error. And we would like to change this to 3.97 our parameter value list. Then we can go ahead to so that is the only section I change. I'll change to if you are changing it. Previously it was 3.9 for well now, I'm making it 3.97. I want to compute. So there we have able to compute. It was the mistake was actually from this section. That was how come we we're able to compute our results. So we move to time dependence. We want to change our range as well. So we've already changed our range. I want to, now that we've, we've been able to compute it, now we want to add a 1D plot loop. One D plot group to our work. Then go ahead to name this one D plot group as relative cell capacity. Then our data sets will change it to calendar life parametric solutions. We go on to add a global plot which we want to change the expression to add this as LB dot cell this LB. This will go on to describe it as a relative cell capacity. We want to change the axis to maintain our time and rather change the units to A. It should be time. Legends should be manual. Show and should be twenty five percent. Let's see. Want to make this? To make this fifty. We make this. Hundred. Go on to plots. Then we have our plots. We move to our relative cell capacity. We want to
edit our title. None. Go on to change where our legends will be. We want it to be at the lower left. As you can over here. So we go ahead to our launch battery. We want to see the change the operation mode to as well to see how it will be. We want to make it a charge discharging cycle. We want to change the discharging cycle to LB. B dot I. One C it should be cups should be a negative. This the more voltage should be the more we want to include the reset period. So, want to change the rest in time to rest. We want to change the charging current to MC. So these are some of the, the changes that we are making over here. The dumped battery section. We want to also change the maximum voltage to this definition. There should be curves. We want to also change the resting time the resting time in here to as well want to change it using the same resting time that 